climb the mountains and get their glad tidings. Nature's peace will flow through you like the sunshine flows into the trees. John Muir Good morning, I'm up on Ice House Canyon in the San Gabriels just for the morning and I've got all my camera gear and we'll see what I find. I have no expectations at all. I've been up here before but not, uh, not when I would call myself a photographer. But I just want to show you the, uh, the sunrise because it's, uh, it's gorgeous. So I got up here early because this is a quite a oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't watch where I'm going, I almost twisted my knee. Jeez. On this stuff. I gotta be careful. Not probably not the best, probably not the best place to ouch. Not the best place to walk and video and take myself at the same time. But uh <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I was saying was I uh Got up early. This is a popular, popular trail, uh, and we'll see. I mean, it goes up to about 8,000 feet. I'm not sure if I get that high, but I've got my stuff, I've got my crampons and things, and my winter gear just in case. So I've got half a day to uh, explore, see if there's anything to point my camera at, and but doesn't matter. Not really worried about that, just uh, be nice to get a couple of shots so I can actually make a YouTube video and have something to show, but uh, it's getting kind of icy now. And as we get higher, I've heard there's about a couple of feet of snow up top, so if I can get up there, that'd be awesome. Looking forward to that. But we will meander on and <clears throat> take my time. That was the goal today, was uh, to come up here and not race up. I was going to climb Baldy, um, but I knew what would happen. I would get that summit fever thing and uh, want to get to the top and my photography would take a, take a back seat. So and I didn't want to do that. I wanted just to come out and relax and uh, take my time and look around and, and um, just enjoy myself rather than trying to get somewhere. So that's the plan. So I'm going to keep heading up. Taking a break. It's gorgeous. A few people on the trail. I met one guy coming down with shorts on <laughs> uh, and a pair of trainers. I'm like, really, dude? It's impressive. Or stupid. Not sure which. Yeah. Um, here am I, kitted out. I got waterproofs and crampons and everything. But I think we're going to get some some uh, snow at the top. So I'm headed up this ridge up there, you can't quite see it. Uh, should be there in about half an hour or so. The grandpa's on. It's getting a little too steep and icy.
Wow, <laughs> that puts it in perspective. A guy jogging up here in shorts. Taking a break here. I'm at the uh, the ice house saddle, and it is gorgeous. Very quiet. I've seen just a few people. Uh, just wander around a little bit and see if I can find something to shoot. I have seen a uh, down this way. You can't quite see it from where I am, but there's some really cool fog in the valley. And if I can get somewhere where I can get out my long lens, and it looks. Through the trees it looks pretty cool. So I'm in a little bit of a precarious position here on the side of a hill. But um found my first uh first shot of the day. <laughs> Maybe my only shot of the day. But it's alright, it's not uh it's a nice view. We have the um the fog in the valley there and the sun's just starting to hit the top of the fog. And um some nice shadows in the mountains uh, and I've kind of framed it with the top of the, uh, the the tree here too so I've got my long lens on and I'm shooting at about 70 mil um, and f11 1 200th and I've got um, a polarizer I'm not quite sure if that's doing any good or not oh yeah it is yeah when I turn it really it really makes the sky quite a bit more blue and co contrasty I like that and I've got a soft grad on as well just to sort of balance the balance the shot out a little bit it's, um, the sky is quite bright and these these uh, I'll show you these uh, these uh, trees down in the valley down there are uh, uh, still quite dark, so we'll give that a try. Here's my setup, and we will take the shot. Two second timer. Mm -hmm. Ouch! <laughs> it's got hit by, hit by some snow falling off the tree. <laughs> I wandered around for about half an hour, 45 minutes up there, but didn't find anything that really caught my eye. I took a couple of test shots on something I thought might be half decent. Uh, I'll show you these, but um, on the back of the camera, it didn't really, didn't really do much for me, so I never videotaped it. So I'm heading down. There's a, a river or a little creek that um, I pass on the way up. 
it was obviously dark when I came up there. So I might stop there and see if I can maybe get a nice long exposure shot and then call it a day. Well, I'm back in the car, quite tired. I didn't see anything on the way down that was worth me stopping for. There was one maybe, but with the waterfall thing, but I was so tired. Um, so, just the one image, but that was a great day. What a great morning. 10 miles of walking and probably, I don't know, four, 4,000 feet of elevation gain, something like that. So, anyway, got a two hour drive home now. But uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you got something out of it, just the one image today, but um, as many people say, you gotta be in it to win it. So it was fun though. All right, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. When I got home, I looked at this image and just thought how nondescript it really is. So rather disappointing. The image is relatively flat. It's very snapshotty and um, lacking, uh, lacking any kind of focal point. So it certainly won't be making my portfolio, but as I mentioned, it wasn't really about getting images today. It was just about getting out and enjoying nature.